Children's Day on May 27 annually is dedicated to celebrating children all over the world and for adults to remember their childhood. It is a fun-filled time as these young ones, including those living with disabilities, gathered to celebrate the day. The children engaged in various activities and performances by some talented ones to the admiration of their parents and guardians. The convener Tosi Owolabi tells the inspiration behind his idea of putting smiles on the faces of children on their special day. He condemns discrimination. I remember growing up, a neighbor of mine, um, a neighbor of mine, very wealthy man, had this child then, um, autistic. Every single time visitors come to that house, they pull that girl at the back room. Um, I wish I could change that, that orientation, but I can't do it all. So the only thing I can do in my own capacity um, is to always celebrate May 27, the Children's Day. And we've been doing that for six years. But even though this is the fifth edition, but we started about six years ago. Owolabi uses the opportunity to seek government support. While the Deputy Head of Education and Project Management for the Down Syndrome Foundation Nigeria, Innocent Okuru, talks about the challenges they face in caring for the special children. I want the government to do something, even though they have not been very active. I want them to be able to support an initiative like this. An initiative like this that is impacting life at a large scale like this is something that I think the government should be supporting. And of course, it's welcome. We want them to come to support an initiative like this that is affecting the people directly. So one of the challenges with this ones with special need, more especially to persons with Down syndrome and intellectual disability, is that they are very slow learners. So the government and the world at large we are saying that let there be inclusion for everybody, let there be quality for everybody. These special ones should not be left out in any way. The truth is they can learn, they can function, they are also part of the society. So to parents out there, if you have children with special need, no matter the kind of special need that your child have, do not be ashamed of them. So the whole idea is just for us to love one another, let love reign, that is the whole idea. A guardian and coach, Kelechi Oko, praises the organizers for the gesture, noting that the event surpassed her expectation. And we're really having fun here. It's been an amazing experience. All the activities, the organization has been top notch. I'm a guardian called Kelechi Unicycle Academy. That's my brand name. So I came here with my kids, my trainees. We're into circus performances and circus arts, majorly unicycling and juggling. So most of our activities are, can be done into another, and the kids have really been catching fun. I really send a special kudos to the organization. This is an amazing one. We have a lot of kids from all walks of life, special kids, and it's indeed a very lovely scene to see that these kids have been included. That's inclusiveness, and I will encourage more brands, more people to look at this angle. I've danced, I've played on the bouncing castle, and I've boxed. My name is Priya, and I'm not being born. The children cannot contain their happiness, hoping to get another chance to be celebrated. Paul George, Plus TV News.